Hello friends, in the last two videos we discussed about abscisic acid phytohormone. We discussed about its introduction, discovery, then chemical nature and structure, its distribution in plants, physiological effects. We also discuss about biosynthesis of abscisic acid. You can refer my videos, the link is given in the description box. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about abscisic acid signaling pathway. We already know that it is a stress hormone and it accumulates during the unfavorable conditions like deficiency of water, high temperature and other unfavorable condition. It is responsible for various physiological effects. Most importantly, stomatal closure and sea dormancy. We have also discussed other physiological effects. These are brought by abscisic acid signaling. So we will discuss about this abscisic acid signaling. Now key components. Every signaling pathway has certain key components. Key components of abscisic acid signaling are as follows. First ligand. It is signaling molecule. Here it is abscisic acid. Second is receptor which binds with ligand. Here it is ABA receptor. We will discuss about signaling in Arabidopsis. So the receptor is PYR slash PYL slash RCAR. Third is transcription factor which helps in transcribing genes. It is ABFs. Then inhibitor PP2C. It also acts as regulator. Now the signaling. There are two situations. First when abscisic acid is absent. In the absence of abscisic acid, PP2Cs inhibit the action of SNRK2s. Hence, no abscisic acid response. So here, abscisic acid is not present. No ligand binds to the receptor. Hence, this PP2C is free. It then inhibits SNRK2. It does not allow its autophosphorylation as a result of which there is no phosphorylation of downstream targets and hence no abscisic acid response. Second situation when abscisic acid is present. Abscisic acid is accumulated in response to stress. Example, drop, cold and salinity. Now let us see ABA signaling through this flowchart. So abscisic acid binds to receptor. This binding leads to inactivation of PP2Cs. This causes suppression of PP2C mediated inhibition of SNRK2. Now the PP2C is not able to inhibit SNRK2. Hence, it is free from inhibition. Activation of SNRK2 by autophosphorylation. So now SNRK2 is activated by the autophosphorylation and the phosphate group is provided by ATP. This phosphorylated or activated SNRK2 then mediate ABA response through phosphorylation of downstream targets. Let us see them one by one. Phosphorylation of SLAC1 and KT1 ion channels in guard cells by SNRK2s that results in stomatal closure. So this phosphorylated SNRK2s then phosphorylate ion channels like SLAC1 and KT1 and these are present in the guard cells. This results in the more movement of solutes from guard cells to the outside and hence there are more concentration of solute outside the guard cells compared to the inside as a result of which water moves from lower concentration of solute to the higher concentration of solute that means from guard cell to outside then guard cell becomes flaccid and stomata closes and this stomatal closure prevent transpirational water loss during the deficiency of water second abi5 phosphorylation of snrk2s leading to inhibition of c germination that is c dormancy this snrk2 then 
phosphorylates ABI5 which leads to seed germination inhibition or arrest of seed germination or in other words seed dormancy during the unfavorable condition. Phosphorylation of ABFs that is transcription factor by SNRK2s activates transcription of target genes. So this SNRK2 then phosphorylate ABF which is transcription factor and hence it becomes active and then it binds to the promoter region of ABA inducible gene and leads to the transcription of target genes. Example transcription factor involved in stress tolerance. So it leads to the transcription of transcription factor which results in the stress tolerance of plants during the unfavorable condition. So this transcription factor leads to the transcription of PP2C genes. This PP2C then binds with SNRK2 and inhibits the activity and thus it acts as the negative feedback regulator. When the favorable condition returns, so there is no need for the ABA responses. In this case, PP2C inhibit SNRK2. Now let us understand this abscisic acid signaling once again with the help of this figure. So in the presence of the abscisic acid, abscisic acid binds with its receptor which in turn binds with PP2Cs. As a result of which it is not able to inhibit SNRK2. Now this SNRK2 is free. It is activated by autophosphorylation and the phosphate group is provided by ATP. This activated SNRK2 then phosphorylates downstream targets. It phosphorylates SLAC1 and KT1 which are the ion channels which then leads to stomatal closure. It also phosphorylates ABI5 which is responsible for seed germination arrest or seed dormancy during unfavorable condition. It phosphorylates ABF which is transcription factor which then binds with the promoter region of the ABA inducible genes and leads to its transcription. Some of the genes that are transcribed are PP2C genes. This PP2C then inhibits SNRK2 and hence it acts as the negative feedback regulator. It also transcribes transcription factor which are involved in stress tolerance that is tolerance of unfavorable condition. This is all for today's video. In the next video we will start with ethylene plant hormone so stay tuned if you like this video please hit the like button share it and subscribe my channel thank you